Hello, everyone, and welcome to Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN's live coverage of high school volleyball. A little non-conference action late in the season as the Cardinals welcome the Orioles from Spring at St. Louis Park. Joe Young and Howie Shapiro up above the action, and Howie, uh, both teams competing in the St. Louis Park invite last weekend, but not seeing one another. No, they were in different gyms, but both teams very successful. Coon Rapids was, went three and one and finished third. St. Louis Park went undefeated to win their tournament. So this is an opportunity for the Cardinals, even though they didn't see Park play, they have an opportunity. They feel, Coach uh, Kirk feels that they have an opportunity to get a win here. The Orioles will have a little bit better record, but they've gotten a lot of wins in tournament play. Yep and their schedule not quite as difficult as what the Cardinals face in the Northwest Suburban. There you see Sam Han Hanlon. Head coach for St. Louis Park. There's Coach Hamlin. Quite a incredible resume she has posted oh, yeah. online. Softball player and obviously volleyball player. She's an All-State. A lot of accolades in both sports. I had most home runs in one season. Orioles had the first service and Peplo a little too tight to the net to give St. Louis Park the first point of the night. Here's a look at Janine Crooks. Yep, got a chance to talk to her today. And She's pretty excited about this one. Feels that, uh, you know, coming off that 3-1 and one, uh, St. Louis Park tournament that her squad is ready to continue to win. Big attack in the middle from Jersey Rob. She gets the kill, evens the score, and Cardinals get the side out and the serve. Yeah, we have a nice uh, nice crowd here, too, tonight. Teacher appreciation night yes. for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals without... Uh, Kate Calafoot, yeah. a big part of their team and one of their captains. So we'll see how they respond to that. A kill on the right side from Ada Drummy gives them their first lead of the evening. Yeah, I think the Cardinals would like to come out here tonight and, and just try and go on those runs early and try and take a lead here right away and put the pressure on the shoulders of the Orioles. Shevchuk's pass picked up near the back line by Barnett. Shevchuk down to the floor to pick that one up. Hoffman attacking, got it through the block. And the Cardinals have three straight. Yeah, Chloe Hoffman with a really nice uh, nice elevation and, and a lot of power on that kill. Set in the middle, a strong attack from McMahon, but picked up by Shevchuk, passed across by Hallie Green. Relatively easy attack for Shevchuk to pick up and a hammer coming down from Chloe Hoffman on the left side. Yeah, there was, there was no way that uh, that St. Louis Park was going to be able to return that. Just a lot of power on that kill. Left side attack too long for Megan Knight. Shevchuk dived and missed. Yeah, and she's fortunate that she did. No, it was ruled that it was tipped, so. Oh, really? Okay. So that'll uh, have the Cardinals with the 4-2 lead. Strong service for the ace from Addison Chenvert, fresh on the floor. Cuts the early de deficit to one. When just pushed over by Rob, set in the middle. Not a lot on that attack, but Cardinals with a net violation, and we're tied at four. Now, we always talk about uh, this This sport goes and runs if you can. Turner Rapids jumped out to a small little lead, and St. Louis Park able to tie it up, looking to take the lead. When tipped over, and then punched back across out of play by Megan Knight, that'll give Coon Rapids the lead right back and the service line will be Jersey Rob. Yeah. 
A little bit of a scramble for the Orioles. They're not able to get it together and play it back across. So Coon Rapids hoping to start to roll again. Rob serving it up and gets the ace as Samoy couldn't control it along the line. Yeah, it kind of went off the edge of her hand, didn't, didn't hit it properly. Coach Hanlon giving a little instruction from the sideline. Big power kill for Houston Samoy. Yeah, and she had some nice elevation on that too. She was able to pound it to the floor. A little bit of a mistake on the serve receive. Makes up for it with a strong attack. In the middle of the attack for Foster. Gets through the Oriole defense and has Coon Rapids right back in control. Yeah, nice little soft tap to the floor. As you mentioned, there's the defense wasn't where, where they needed to be. Sonia Nesseth checks in and takes over at the service line for the Cardinals. Samoy picks it up. Tack and the kill on the right side for Nora Boat. Grace Johnson checks in and will head to the service line for the Orioles as Megan Knight gets a little tutelage from the coach. Nesseth fires it across for the Cardinals. Samoy passes it over. Set goes to Hoffman. She gets another kill. Right, she, she's been on fire here in this first set. She's been able to win a number of points for her squad, but with that powerful net game. Attack in the middle, great dig for Nesseth. Shevchuk plays it across. Strong play at the net from Shevchuk and a carry by the Orioles. Gives Coon Rapids the 10-6 lead. A strong play so far by the Cardinals. Able to take this 10-6 lead here in set one. Little too much on that one for Chloe Hoffman. He'll give the side out back to Osseo. Macy Alexander adds some size to the front line for St. Louis Park. Faviseth checks in on the back end for the Cardinals. Savoy's serve picked up by Nessa, tipped across by Peplo, attack and the kill for Macy Alexander. And the, and the Orioles just trying to keep this one close. They don't, they don't want Coon Rapids to uh, jump out to a large lead here. And that'll give uh, the Cardinals the point in the service back. Clara Bagney in for St. Louis Park, Hallie Green at the service line for the Cardinals. A little bit of a change up, nearly got him off target, but uh, Alexander didn't get what she wanted on it, but <laughs> snuck it through the block. I was gonna say it didn't matter because she was able to uh, get the point for the Orioles. Quick set, tip for the point for Jersey Rob. Vivian Peplo is at the service line now for Coon Rapids. Attacking again is Alexander. Faviseth picked it up. Shevchuk passes it across. Attack from Alexander again, too much on it. And it's a four point Coon Rapids lean, matching their largest 
lead so far. Pavaseth, good pickup. Shevchuk attacking, that's blocked. Played over by Drummy. Good volley going, and the point. Gonna go to the Orioles as that one was long. I thought maybe there was a I thought, touch at the I net. I thought so too, but. I think it may have bounced off the top of the net for Shevchuk. You know, talking to Coach Crooks, with that, that win in St. Louis Park really gave this, these girls a lot of confidence coming into this one. They go right back to Shevchuk this time on the right side, and she gets it through the block attempt. Shevchuk wins the point, heads to the service line, and puts a little too much on it. Too much mustard. Coach Kirks has to be happy with the start uh, her, her squad has gotten off to. Chenvert back in, back at the service line for Osseo. And a little miscommunication along the back line as Green and Shevchuk got a little tied up together. Green passes across. Chenvert picks it up near the back line. Big attack from Samoy. Cardinals able to turn it. Hoffman didn't get what she wanted on it, but Orioles forced to scramble. Another good volley. Hoffman. Too long. Yeah, a little too long. Orioles. Uh, getting this thing a little closer now, 14-13 in favor of Coon Rapids. Saw she bounced it off the pull. <laughs> Orioles back within one and make it a tie as the Cardinals thought it was going long and Chenberg put it right on the back line, 14 all. Yeah, sometimes you just have to, you know, it's tough to judge those kind of serves because it was it was quick and it was and it hit right to the back line. Rob pushes it across and went off the hands of Samoy out of bounds and the Cardinals win the side up. But they saw a little bit of their lead vanquish, but they're able to get it, the one point lead back now at 15-14. Orioles play it near the back line. Samoy on the attack. It's a good one and it's 15 all. Yeah, both coaches, when I spoke with them, said this this is going to be a pretty evenly played match. And so far, they've both been right. That pass a little long, and the Orioles make him pay. Nagorski went up and put it down, and this is the first lead yep. for St. Louis Park since it was 1-0. to And the Cardinals take a timeout. So... I want to give a special CTN shout out, Joe, to Mary Hoffman. Now, Mary is the grandmother of Chloe Hoffman. And the game we did last against Spring Lake Park was the first time that she has seen Chloe play. And so that, that's very special, I know, to the Hoffman family. But we want to thank Mary for watching. We hope you're enjoying and, and uh, keep, uh, keep rooting those Cardinals on. Agreed. We'll take all the viewership we can get. Absolutely. Even if the sound is turned all the way down. <laughs> yeah, it's two teams, that, again, you know, on paper, Osseo with the 12 wins looking more impressive. Yep. But uh, when you factor in uh, strength of schedule and you see that these should be two teams that are pretty evenly matched and so far... Played it out. has stayed 
incredibly tight, and now Osio with the lead. Evelyn Barnett serving. Picked up by Green, long set for Hoffman. The block is out of bounds. Another kill for Chloe Hoffman. She has been very strong off that left side for Coon Rapids she, early. She really has, and you know, and again, it's not much you can do when that uh, that that kill is coming back at that kind of velocity. Nesseth in to serve, puts it right in the corner, and Coon Rapids back in front. Yeah, perfect serve there. Just indecision. What are you going to do? And you hit the back corner and get your point. Tried to drop it over the net and said took a little too much off. We're tied and it's an Osseo serve, or a St. Louis Park serve. I was concerned I would say Spring Lake Park <laughs> because it's SLP. Right. But the jerseys and the Oreo mascot makes it much more difficult yeah. to avoid saying well, Osseo. Consider we've been, we cover a lot of Osseo games in the past. One or two. Yeah. Cardinals dropped it on their side of the net, and uh, St. Louis Park has the 18-17 lead. And St. Louis Park is the SLP I grew up with because it was right uh -oh. next door. Me as well. Hoffman attacking another kill, and we're tied at 18. Yeah, she pounded that one. Just a lot of velocity, tough to return. And now Hoffman at the service line. Beautiful service. And she serves up the ace. Get Coon Rapids back in front. 19-18. We talked about streaks earlier. This is the point in the game where they become critical. Oh, huge. Samoy able to find a hole in the defense, get us back to even at 19. Yeah, it's a smart move, and again, you have to be so concerned if you're the Cardinals on the defensive part of that, that that ball is gonna, gonna she's gonna kill that and hit some velocity with that shot, but again, the, just a soft little shot got him the point. A little. Soft attack from Foster is just what worked best as she angled it off the side of the block attempt and gets Coon Rapids to serve and the lead right back. Orioles scrambling, battle at the net, like the elbow from Peplo. Tatum Shevchuk on the attack, Orioles set up. Able to block up the Alexander attack. Here she comes again this time into the net. Now the Cardinals now with the 21-19 lead. Looking to get this first set under their belts. Too much on it. And the Orioles back in control at the service line. This time it's Sofia Nagorski. Quick set in the middle, Rob got under it too much. Oh, we're saying yep. that it was, was tipped. Coon Rapids points. Well, they, the, the corner judge immediately said it was touched. Both uh, the up and down officials conferred and decided it was. So Alexander on the attack. Pavaseth is there. Here comes Shevchuk the other way. Got off the top of the net. Yeah, she didn't she get a clean strike on it, unfortunately, and did go off the top of the net. 
And the Orioles staying close here now, trailing by one at 22-21. Mara Schroeder at the service line. Played over by Rob. Set goes for Alexander, looking for that back line. Diving save by Pavisic. Green able to pass it over. Strong attack for the kill in the middle by Jordan McMahon. We're tied at 22. Yeah, again, she had just perfect placement. Ninth tie of this first set. Cardinals will take a crucial point 23. And now just two points away if they can maintain at least a two point lead. Yeah, and, and an opportunity with a couple of solid serves here to, to close it out. Tatum Shevchuk, pass in on the net and the Orioles couldn't help it. Megan Knight got up there, got a good pass off, but couldn't stay on her side of the net. So now it will be set point Coon Rapids. Timeout for Osseo for St. Louis Park. Osseo's still not here. <laughs> See, now, I, the key is just say Orioles because then you'll never get it wrong. <laughs> well, and that, maybe that's what it is, is I heard timeout Orioles yep. by, from Mr. Then, Mike DuPont. Right, and then it goes into Osseo because I understand that. I get it. Mike DuPont's mom, who would like to watch the broadcast without any announcer microphone. Yeah, she wants to hear it. She wants to hear her son, and I can't blame her. He, I'd like to listen to him. Yeah, he well, he's got great. He's got great he's voice. He's got for the it. pipes. Yes, he does. Tatum Shevcha. So, Mike's mom, you're going to have to suffer listening to us. <laughs> we'll try and be quiet as much as we can. Shevchuk serving for set point. Not quite yet, says McMahon, as she tips it through the defense and to the floor. It's always that elusive. Huge, huge service right here. Yeah, and a good time out for the Orioles. At the service line is Chenvert. Set goes for Rob. Rob plays it long. We're tied again at 24. Let's see if uh, they can set Hoffman on that left side here to try and get the, uh, the service back. Green played it across. Chenver might have played I think that one was that going was going out. long. Oh, I think it was totally going long. Set it up for Hoffman. They are there to defend well. Near side, getting it through the block is Drummy, and the Cardinals will have another chance at set point. One more opportunity to see if they can close this out for the first set. Jersey Rob at the service line. A little help from the net for Ada Drummy. Samoy into the middle where Rob waits. Here's Hoffman on the attack. Big stuff. Wow. They, they stay alive, tied to 25. Barnett serving for the Orioles. Hoffman cross court, and that's going to be a winner. And the Cardinals get another chance to serve for the set. Nesseth at the service line. Put some good power yeah. out, middle of the back line, passed across by Nagorski. Long set, Hoffman waits, didn't get the timing she needed, it's 26 all. Thirteenth tie. Well, when these two coaches said we're, we're probably two very evenly matched teams. Uh, they certainly have lived up to that state, those statements. A 
service oh, heartbreaking error will for them. again give Coon Rapids a chance to serve for the win. Big attack and a kill from the left side wow. on St. Louis Park. Big block and now a chance for St. Louis Park, their first chance at a set point. Yeah, they have at they 28 have, 27, with, timeout, Coon Rapids. Yeah, you know, Cardinals have played really well here in this first set, and they would, do not want to uh, to drop it. So, a good timeout by Coach Brooks as she's able to talk to her squad, have a little strategy. And, you know, you can say the same thing for the Orioles, too, able to, uh, to say, listen, we've got the lead. This is what we want to do. Let's close out this first set. And maybe just a prequel of what we are to see all night long. I very wouldn't surprise me at all. But somebody somebody has to win this first set first. Samoy will serve set point for St. Louis Park. They're not fooled by that one. The attack in the middle by Nagorski is picked up. That one played over by Foster. They'll set up Alexander. Pavaseth a good dig. Shevchuk gets it over. Samoy awaits. Here's Alexander again, a little late getting there. Ness has played it back over. Cardinals have to scramble, and they're not able to recover. And Asia, or er, St. Louis Park, will take the first set. 29 to 27. And I want to point out that our, on our score bug, I look over. Yep. That's the Osseo Oriole. He's got an O on his chest. Or an uh, O for Oriole. It could just be O for Oriole. <laughs> but that's going to do it for the first set. A big come from behind win and survival mode for the Orioles late in the first set. They get away with a 29-27 win. We'll take a break, be back with the second set after this. Okay, I have a couple good ones for you, Joe. How do football players stay cool? By standing next to the fans. <laughs> what kind of tea do football players drink? Penalty. Why can't you play football with pigs? Because they hog the ball. Uh. Back at the field house, a thriller in the first set to get us started. St. Louis Park coming from behind late, surviving, I think, four Coon Rapids set points. And on their first set point of the night, they convert. That's the only two point lead they had in that first set. Yeah, I mean, it went back and forth, and it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate the Cardinals couldn't close it out when they had a couple of chances. But uh, now they have an opportunity here to see if they can tie it up with a win in this second set. Peplo will start at the service line for the Cardinals. 
Orioles set up Alexander and she delivers. Schroeder at the service line. Knight checks in up front. Shevchuk thwarted by the tape. Well, this is, uh, this is something that the Orioles didn't have in that first set is an early lead. They didn't get the lead to late in that uh, in that first set. Well, they led one nothing. One nothing. That's right. That's right. But this is their largest lead of the night yep. so far. Is that one mishandled a little bit? It's an ace for Amara Schroeder and a 3-0 lead for St. Louis Park. That one passed back. Just gets over the net. McMahon fires it. Just long. <laughs> that was a tough one to call. I, it may have hit the. It may have hit the back part of that tape, but nonetheless, Cardinals will take it. Samway from a ways behind the midcourt line. Attack from Hoffman is picked up well by. St. Louis Park, Samway attacking again. Shevchuk is there, passed across by Rob. In the middle, McMahon can't find the floor. Green passes it across. Bernard was running out of room, but the Orioles able to get it back in play. Rob wow. fires it down. She had great hang time going up for that one, put all of her arm into it. Yeah, she and pounded cuts it back to a one point deficit. She pounded it to the floor. McMahon, but a quick turn by the Cardinals. A nice save by Samoy, and McMahon this time able to direct it to the hardwood. Get her team, oh, it was uh, Schroeder rather, redirected it near the net. Gets the serve back for St. Louis Park. Big denial and it's right at the back line. Cardinals tried to set up Drummy in the middle and McMahon there for the stuff. And it was a perfect stuff too because it was, it was past the defense and it just hit the back part of that, uh, that court. Inbounds. Hoffman's attack. Orioles able to pick it up. Samoy attacking. Good save by Green. Here's Hoffman again. This time she'll get the kill. Cardinals get the side out. Trail by two as Jersey Rob heads to the service line. Yeah, it's a tough one to take there. That To me, that looked like it was going to possibly go out. But uh, the Orioles had to make sure that they it used their best at, judgment. It was tipped at the line. Cardinals cut into it even further. Again, it's just about for, the, for Coon Rapids staying close in this second set. Knight with the kill. And this is similar to what we saw in the first set, except Coon Rapids was the team in front. They'd stretch the lead a little bit. The lead would be chewed away. And on and on we went until it was 29-27. Chenver attacked too long. Good play by uh, Shevchuk, knowing where she was on the court. Yeah, and obviously let that one go. And a smart move by her because that one uh, a little bit too long, had a little bit too much on it. 
And that's the serve right back. Foster puts it back across for the Cardinals. Foster got a piece of that attack and now will play it across. Keeping it alive is Barnett. Samoy on the attack. Shevchuk. Peplo set up for it. <laughs> Hoffman, but bad touch by the Orioles. We're tied at six. Yeah, again, you know, Cardinals uh, didn't let that little bit of a lead by the Orioles deter them. They were able to get it right back at six even. Come right back with the kill from Nagorski. Yeah, and I think we're, we'll see another... Uh, it's all the makings of another set like we saw in the first one, just back and forth and back and forth. Nobody really taking any type of a commanding lead. Grace Johnson, the freshman, in to serve. And Peplo didn't get the touch she wanted, tried to catch him off guard and spun off of her fingertips. Hoffman, nice another kill. kill. Moved her off that left side, trying to spread the St. Louis Park defense out a little bit. Chuck has to scramble and not going to get this one nope. back in. Well, the St. Louis Park able to open up a little bit of a lead here. Samoy awaits the service for St. Louis Park up 9-7. And she serves up the ace. Orioles with that. 29-27 win in set number one. Shevchuk stuffed at the net. Big play from Schroeder again up close. We'll see when if uh, coach calls a time. Oh, she's calling a timeout now. I think. Yeah, I think before this lead gets a little bit too out of hand, I think she wants to talk to uh, her squad now. Just just trailing by four. Also, a bit of a run here. Well, and we never saw either team get a really long run. No. In we did not. Set number one. Four points is the largest lead that either team has had. That's where St. Louis Park is now. Coon Rapids was there a couple of times in the first set. We'll see uh, which, the timeout, if it's gonna benefit the Cardinals here and they can get a point and get the service back. Foster plays it over, Barnett back, and Schroeder a little too aggressive at the net. And it'll be Coon Rapids' point. Oh, they did, they got the point back, they've, they've cut the lead to three, and an opportunity with service to see if they can continue to cut into that. Tough play near the back line for Bagby, but the Orioles able to play it across. Set for Rob, got there a little late, but that maybe helped as she tipped it around the block and to the floor. Yeah, she didn't need to put much on it. She just needed to put it in the right spot, and she did. Green serve, picked up by Barnett. Alexander attacking, bounces it off the top of the net. Shevchuk is stuffed. Tipped across by Peplo. 
Orioles scramble to play it over. Green high pass, Shevchuk attacks, too much on it into the Oriole bench. Our Cardinals able to get a couple of points. Peplo plays it across. Here's Alexander attacking. Card's got a piece of it, but she's going to get the kill, and it's a four-point lead again for St. Louis Park. Set a little too tight to the net. And that's the big thing is Coon Rapids has to make sure they, they don't start to unravel nope. and give up extra points. Well, they, they definitely do not want to fall behind 2-0. That's going to be Cardinal point. Yeah. The... Orioles touch the net. Yep. Peplo to serve, trailing 14-10. Alexander took a little something off. Good diving save from Peplo. Shevchuk tipped it over the block attempt. Schroeder sets it up for McMahon. Peplo is there. Yeah, Drummy didn't get that nope. one across the net. That's going to make it 15 to 10. Schroeder's service. Green is there. Shevchuk attacks. Orioles set it up for Alexander. Bounces it off the net at the back line. And the largest lead of the night now for either team at six points. Yeah. Another timeout, Coon Rapids. Well, yeah, again, these are important timeouts for the Cardinals because they can't afford to fall too far behind after dropping that first set. Right now, St. Louis Park in a pretty good spot up by six with service. And, you know, especially for, for teams that have struggled to find consistency, success. Right. To, to get those nerves going, uh, here we go again. The Cardinals have to try and keep that from happening. Yep. Chip their way back into this one. Schroeder serving for St. Louis Park. Into the net. That's exactly what the Cardinals needed. Get that service into the net, get the point. Now get the opportunity to serve yourself back into this second set. Shevchuk will serve. Picked up by Barnett. Knight waits on it. Got it through the block attempt. Cardinals set it up for Hoffman. Had to scramble for it a bit. Good save near the back line by Bagney. Alexander punches it over and Gets the point for uh, uh, St. St. Louis Park. That's the team. Out to, I'm out, it's a half of one. It's only a half, so it doesn't count. Uh, You're right. I should just say the Orioles. That, if, yeah, you say the Orioles, you can't lose. Back set goes to Rob. Great diving Pretty. save by... Chenvert, but it's all for naught as it falls in front of the net. And again, the Cardinals need these kind of opportunities. Jersey Rob, Jersey Rob and wow, Osio, 
God. Dang it. St. Louis Park <laughs> scrambled, and it is a big kill for Hoffman, but what a what a wild point. As, yeah. uh, the pass was inadvertently off the backboard, and they were still able to get it across in three touches. Well, we'll see if the, the Cardinals will continue to try and feed Hoffman. That one wide. Cardinals wisely let it fall. Back within three and a timeout on the other side. Yeah, Coach Hamlin wants to talk to her squad. They, she's seen this lead dwindle a little bit, and, and she wants, similar to Coach Kurtz, wants to avoid that from happening. So she's marked timeout and talks to her girls about what they need to do. Jersey Rob returns to the service line now. Just down three points in this second set. McMahon passes it across, but out of bounds. Not yep. a coordinated effort from the Orioles on that turn. You know, and, and it's a smart play by Hoffman just to make sure she doesn't try, realize that one's gonna go out, just watch it go out. And then a log service. Evelyn Barnett at the service line. Foster plays it over. Barnett's pass into the net. Cardinals get it right back. Sonia Nesseth in to serve for the Cardinals. Solid service. Shenvert hammers it across. Set in the middle for Shevchuk. Off the block. Diving save by Barnett. Samoy attacking. Long pass near the net. Good plays both sides. Peplo tips it across. Diving attempt by Barnett. Comes up empty and we're back within one. Yeah, beautiful job by Peplo to get that. I mean, again, you don't necessarily have to put a lot of power on it, but if you put it in the right spot, and she did that. Nice. Beautiful service from Nessa. The ace evens it up at 18 all. Another timeout for St. Louis Park. Oh, this is a whole new set now. Grand Rapids able to uh, tie this thing up. Yeah, things have been going the Orioles' way throughout. They have not trailed in this second set. Their lead is large as six, but uh, Cardinals have battled back and tied it up. Nessus continues her service. And she'll get another ace to give Coon Rapids its first lead of the second set. That's a big, big service there. Now you want to just put the pressure on the Orioles. And close it out.
Hoffman a solid attack. Good turn. Tipped across by Nagorski. Great diving save by Hoffman. Peplo plays it across. Set up for Samoy. She gets the kill. We're tied at 19. Yeah, perfect setup for her. And she had the, the right elevation and she was able to pound it to the floor and get the service back for her squad. Grace Johnson with a service into the net. Yeah, I know that's got to be frustrating for the Orioles. And you just get that, you just get a tie and get that opportunity to see if you can take the lead and then hit the service into the net. Samoy punches it across. Card set it up for Foster. That's picked up by Chenbert. Attacked by Samoy. Therefore, it is Hoffman. Shevchuk directs it across. Quick redirect from Schroeder, and the Cardinals can't recover. 20 all. That's what, this is exactly what we saw in that first set. Back and forth, and back and forth. Samoy at the service line now. Not clean, but they were able to play it across, and Samoy worried it was gonna fall into that corner, tried to play it, and it's well out. And Coon Rapids has that one point lead again. Serving for the Cardinals, number 10, Hallie Green. Hallie Green at the service line. Alexander attacking, Green is there. Shevchuk through the block, gets the kill, and Coon Rapids up two. And now to open up a little bit of a lead for the Cardinals with service, see if he can go on that bit of a run and close it out. Nagorski getting over to seal that block, just a half a second too late. This one too tight to the net. Good time to have a five point streak. Yes it is. Well it will not happen because Nagorski just hammered that one through the defense. On the to stop that streak at three. Carlos just got to figure we, we need to play mistake free volleyball here. We're two points away from tying this match up. Rob pushes it across with the left hand, and Coon Rapids will have set point. Yeah, she's done that a couple of times, one points for her squad. And now the Cardinals are just one service win away from tying this match up at one apiece. Peplo serving. Alexander couldn't get a good strike on it. Cardinals set it up for Shevchuk. Long pass near the net, tipped over, but into the net went Schroeder. No, that's, no Coon that's Rapids point. Yep. went across. Yep. The Orioles have a little bit of life here, trailing That goes to Drummy, and she didn't get the angle she needed. Now the now the Orioles are going to see if wait, let's we can go on this run and see if we can close it out with service. Big block at the net for McMahon. Drummy attacking. Alexander for the Orioles. She gets the point. We're tied at 24. Wow. That was a huge point. Got missed this little flip over. Cardinals not uh, able to get return. 
Schroeder's serve, Green receives. Shevchuk from the right side. And she gives Coon Rapids another chance at set point. Yeah, very solid. McMahon gets it right back to even at 25 all. About as evenly matched as you can find, Joe Young. Green near the back line. This set for Hoffman. Took a little something off it. Good play by Schroeder. Samoy has to just play it into the middle. Set goes to Rob. Defense was there. And the Orioles touch the net. Coon Rapids wow. will have set point once more. Great opportunity for the Cardinals here. Service error puts us back to even. <laughs> Evelyn Barnett serving again. Hoffman's attack, Schroeder got a hand on it. Samoy fires it across. Good volley, and that one just too long for Nagorski. And Coon Rapids, another opportunity at set point. These are all the same set points they had in the first set, by the way, at 26-25, uh, er, at 27-26. That one off the baseball banner. But the Orioles able to get it across. There Hoffman it is. attacks, kills, and we're even with both of the first two sets needing more than 25 points for the victor. Coon Rapids able to gut it out at the end for a 28-26 victory. Set three around the corner on CTN. Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events. And the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. Howie, do you know why fish are so bad at volleyball? Because they're afraid of the net. Why me? Why couldn't the volleyball player cross the road? There were too many bumps. <laughs> uh. Why was Cinderella kicked off the team? Because she ran away from the ball. I hate you. Well, two nail biters right to the very, very end that required extra points. Coon Rapids evening the match with a 28-26 win in set number two. Yeah, it's been a wild one here, Joey. And it's, you know, the first one went a little bit longer. We, we thought that, you know, it looked like that the Orioles, they started off in that second, that second set like they had an opportunity to take a 2-0 lead. But uh, Coon Rapids, was certainly not going to let that happen. Yeah, they led. They they had a 16-point lead yeah. as late as 16 to 10, and then the Cardinals started storming back late. 
And we went back and forth again at those in those last few points with the Cardinals having more opportunities uh, than did the Orioles as far as set points. But Shevchuk blocked but out of bounds and Coon Rapids will have the first point of set number three. That's the first time that has happened. We'll see, if, we'll see if that means something here in set number three. Not for very long. No. Well, and I have been, you know, impressed by the quality of Coon Rapids play from where they were just a couple weeks ago. It has seemed uh, far fewer of those you know, types of unforced errors. Right. Which is a great thing to see in the growth of a team throughout the year. Orioles a little sloppy, but got it over. Hoffman attacking, good save by Chenvert. Samoy will play it across. Set in tight, Rob will just pass it over. Attack by Knight, Shevchuk is there. On the attack was Drummy, and the Orioles able to turn it around. Good save by Green. Finally ending it is Hoffman from that left side. Yeah, we saw her in that in that first set do a really nice job from that left side. I think uh, Cardinals would like her to get back in a rhythm and continue to win points just like that. Samoy's attack stopped up by Foster. Orioles recover. Set for Hoffman, but played it wide down that far sideline. Yeah, I like the thought, but just couldn't keep it in, in bound. Barnett to serve. Weak pass back, and Nagorski makes him pay. Yeah. A big service error will make it four to two, or service ace, yep. I should say. Barnett puts a little too much on it. Foster's attack, the Orioles got a piece of it. Set it up for Samoy, she Beautiful. tips it over the defense. You know, you, you get that defense thinking that uh, it's gonna be that kill and you're just able to just tap it over for the point, just smart play. Read the defense. Yes. Johnson serve, picked up by Green, the set. In the middle for Hoffman, she played it wide. Tough play at the net, yeah. Orioles scramble to recover. Samoy a good attack. And St. Louis Park. Spreads out to a 7-3 lead, and Coon Rapids calling an early timeout. You know, and I think that, you know, Coach Kirk said we, we were behind earlier in that second set, and it's a good timeout, obviously, and, and we can, we'll can continue to do the things that got us back into contention in set number two. Just don't, uh, don't worry about getting behind by four because we showed in that second set we could cut into that lead.
Can make a dragon want to retire. Yeah. <laughs> Hoffman didn't get the angle she wanted. No, and then the Orioles get the point off the timeout. Set to Hoffman, punches it over with the left hand and found the hole. It's a big point for the Cardinals. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Samoy's attack picked up by Hoffman. Into the middle, Peplo punches it over. Back and forth at the net. Nesset gets it to the setter and a little miscommunication and it's on the floor on the Cardinal side. And the Orioles uh, building this lead here in set number three. Foster attacking, Barnett is there. Samoy plays it across. That pass went right back over. And a bad touch for yeah. the Orioles. And again, the Cardinals need that point. Now trailing by four with service. Allie Green tried to go cross court and went a little too far. And now Nagorski reports to the service line at the other end. Peplo trying to catch him unawares. Nearly paid off, but a good save. Big stuff at the line by McMahon. Cardinals. Reset, Nesseth will put it where they can't return it. Vivian Peplo at the service line. Good service. Again, it gets just important to, to have a good service and to play a strong net game and get back into this contest. Only trailing by three, it's still early, obviously. Alexander attacking, oh. blast right back across by Green. Good tip at the net by Shevchuk. Here's Alexander again. This time it went wide. Good pick up from Pavisev. Shevchuk passes across. That may have been oh, going long. I think long. so too. McMahon attacking, and she'll get the kill for the Orioles. I thought that was coming to you, Yund. I thought that was going to be your ball. Didn't have quite enough air on no, it. No, I thought maybe it would take the bounce. Big attack by Rob, but... The Orioles able to turn it around. Alexander didn't get the hit she wanted. Into the net and it's an 11-9 score here in set number three. Yeah. 
Another and miss hit. And it's a one point deficit for the Cardinals. Alexander pushes it to the far back corner. Green tried to back set and didn't get quite what she wanted on it. Chenvert will check in and head to the service line. She's been solid back there for the Orioles so far. <laughs> Too wide for Ada yep. Drummy. Good setup, good thought. Green at the last second of verting. Yeah. Making sure she didn't touch it as that one went long. Yeah, she, it came close, but, but she did not get any contact. We're getting a little help from the yeah. tape. But the Orioles able to recover. And Drummy able to bounce it off the net and right onto the line. Green Rapids back within one again. McMahon right to the back oh. corner. He couldn't have placed that more perfectly. Orioles maintain the lead and earn the serve back. Barnett gets to the tape. Yeah, both coaches don't like to see those kind of uh, forced errors. In the middle, a good attack, but Shevchuk able to pick it up. Passed across by Peplo. Samoy attacking, good save again by Shevchuk. Tipped over by Peplo. Set up for Samoy. Hoffman attacking, great, great block. Great block. St. Louis Park. Serving with a 15-13 lead. I just mistimed it there. Orioles looking to go on a run. The run will end there as Hoffman gets it through the block in the middle. And right back. So that'll make it 17-14 in favor of St. Louis Park. Shevchuk was stuffed, but Green a diving save. Alexander got there a little late, pushes it over. Peplo taps it across, and that's what ends the point. Yeah, we, we've seen a, a couple of points won by Peplo that exact same way. Just a little mis soft misdirection and able to find the floor inbounds. Green is strong service, picked up by Bagby. Yep. The attack by Alexander is long, and it's yep. back to a one-point deficit. That serve is a rocket. 
Had a lot of hot sauce on it. Tipped over by Nagorski, a diving attempt by Green comes up empty. Took a little something off of that. Nesseth dove for it and sent it well out of play. Coach Crook's calling a timeout. A pretty smart one here with a three-point deficit, 19-16. But now it gets to that point in the, in the contest where points are really important. Yeah, and we've seen that at this point in the contest, uh, leads aren't safe. I was either. just going to say that no lead <laughs> is safe in this one. Although we, you know, we haven't seen a lead of more than six for either team. Right. And down the stretch, I mean, we've gotten back to my point, your point, trading ties. Will we be destined for extra points in set number three? But we will find that out. Nagorski's serve. Peplo tips it over. Alexander got a piece of it. Schroeder will play it back over. Back set for Rob. Attack and a kill. As that would have gone out, but Bagney kind of defensively putting her hands up to... So she didn't take it off the nose, yeah. which I can understand. I, that's uh, not, a, not a good place to take it. McMahon, quick set in the middle and she puts it down. Big point for the Orioles. Gets, gets to 20. Rob will get the kill and get Coon Rapids another chance at the service line. an ace. Yeah, just misplayed. And we are at 20 to 19. Coon Rapids has led 20 to 19 in each of the first two sets. It's crazy. And now St. Louis Park with the 2019, make it 21 to 19. Lead. Having some fun on the Oreo bench. Well, if, if the history from the two sets repeats itself, uh, I don't think there, anyone's going on a run. I'd be surprised. That one played a little too close. McMahon. Oh, they're saying? It, yep, she yep. definitely went across the net to go get that. And that's the right call. Coach Hanlon doesn't like it. No. But I think uh, I think that's the right call. Yeah, I, I think, think so as well. Definitely went across the across the net. And we are tied at 21. Like I said. I would, we would have been surprised if anybody rolled off a, a run to win the, the contest. It's been too close. Fans trying to come to life. Samoy. Oh. Was about ready to, started to celebrate and then realized that that one might come back. 
but it did not. It's 22-21 in favor of the Orioles. One's long, we're tied at 22. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one. Big miss hit on the serve for St. Louis Park. Because they, they had an opportunity to try and close it out. But now, as you mentioned, we're tied at 20, 20, 22. Double. Come on. That one up over the rafter, Shevchuk. Plays it, Nesset will put it into play. A little Beautiful. late with Samoy, but had just enough to put it to the floor. Well, she saw that hole in the defense and she was able to put it there. plays it over, played right back. Cardinals tip it to the floor, tied at 23. I'm sure we've been involved in volleyball contests like this, but it's been a while. That pass comes right back across. Peplo just pushes it over. Shevchuk attacking, that's up into the rafters. Orioles scramble, but can't get it. And the Cardinals will once again have set point at 24-23. They've been here before. They have been here before. Twice. Yep. Neither time was successful. Third time the charm? Let's hope so. We will find out. Nice diving save by Green. Shevchuk with the kill, and the Cardinals put together back-to-back -to -back wins, and they will have a chance to close it out in the fourth set. And that is on the other side of this break on CTF. Carlson Fieldhouse. It's been a close one, to put it mildly. 29 at 27, St. Louis Burke Park won the first. Coon Rapids came back with a 28-26 win. And now a 25-23 victory in the third. Gives them an opportunity here to try and score a big win. Yeah, it'll be, if, they, if they can get it so well fought. Uh, obviously, St. Louis Park will have something to say about that because they, uh, they're they an evenly matched squad with Coon Rapids and they know they want to come back and, and win this fourth set, set it, send it to a fifth. Cardinals will have the service to start set number four. Vivian Peplo will get us started. 
with a service into the net. Yeah, not the way the Cardinals wanted to start this fourth set. Rob's attack picked up nicely by Schroeder, but little too much on that one from Nagorski. And here's an oddity for this matchup, okay. a tie. Yeah, yeah, right, it's like it's not happened all night. Yeah, we've seen a lot of tie scores. 13 in the first set. We've seen fewer each set. And we've seen a little bit larger leads, but certainly uh, no one running away at any point nope. of the evening. McMahon in the middle, Rob is there to pick it up. Hoffman attacking, stuffed but out of bounds. Had good timing on the stuff, but just couldn't keep it in. Cardinals up 3-2. Wow, the net, it's all the part, tape is your friend. It's all part of the plan, yeah, all like part of the plan. We've been working on that in practice. See if we can put a bullet into the net and just have it hit the top of the tape and just fall. There's another one that doesn't come back. Nope. Well, I tell you, if you could, if you could perfect it, that you could do that every single time, it'd be awfully well, tough it would, to return your yeah. serve. You would hope your opponent figures it out after a few, but nice save there. That's yeah, a good strong attack for McMahon. This time it's Samoy, that one almost out of her reach. Good save by Peplo. Here comes Samoy again, this time too much. And this equals the Cardinals' largest lead of the night. Four points that they had in the first. Oh, that ball miscommunication there. A couple of there. quick plays and yep. then just falls in the middle. Middle of. Yeah. It was a good serve. It was really good serve. Great save. Good battle at the net. Good volley back and forth. Hoffman oh. will end it with a cardinal point. Uh, and that's her strength as St. Louis Park gonna call an early timeout here, trailing seven to three. And uh, at a good timeout for Coach Hanlon as uh, she's gotta settle her squad down after allowing Coon Rapids to win the last two. And uh, now with a nice four point lead here early in set number four, she wants to make sure they keep it close. Well, and they're another team that has had a lot of struggles throughout the season. Yeah. And they're up uh, and down. You know, can can also very easily get that, uh, those nerves going and. Momentum definitely on the Coon Rapids side at this point. But neither team has been able to successfully no. hold on to said momentum nope. Nope. for any length of time. Nesseth serving for the Cardinals. Diving saved by Nessa. And the Cardinals touch the net. Yeah. And the Orioles needed that point. <laughs> and 
And an ace for Grace Johnson. Big stuff in the middle for Nagorski. And, the, and St. Louis Park back within a point. A you know, good timeout for the Orioles, too, because they will get back into this contest after trailing early. Hoffman redirects it. Good save by Barnett. And a huge attack from Samoy for the kill. Tied at seven. No surprise. <laughs> it's been this. It's been this way back and forth the entire match. Yeah. Nice. Hoffman finds yep. a hole again. And a service error gives it right back, and guess what? Huh. We're tied. Oh, surprise. First. Samoy is served, picked up by Green. Shevchuk. Taps it over the defense, gave it just what it needed. Cardinals get the side out, get the point, and that streak. Alexander gets the kill and gets the right back for St. Louis Park, 9-9. Nine, 9-9. Nine. 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 Number 9. Number 9. Number 9. Number 9. Number 9. Number 9. Number nine. Nagorski. A little bit of an off-speed serve. McMahon puts it right into the middle of the defense. And St. Louis Park takes the lead 10-9. Yeah, again, back and forth for these two squads. Ada Drummy back in for the Cardinals. Peplow's serve picked up by Johnson. Alexander attacking and well along. Half the crowd called that one. Yep. Well, this would be a good time for Coon Rap to see if they can go on a run. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there because sometime it might sometime it might happen. Well, is there ever a bad time to go no, on a run? No, but but I'm saying a good part of the of the game because they're in control. And there it is. There's the first Aided point to the run. <laughs> Aiden Drummy getting it through the block attempt. Oh, and that one mishandled. Green Rapids back in front by three. Yeah. That's a great job by Peplo, yeah. just tiptoeing to stay out of the net. Well, it pays off. Coon Rapids now with a four point lead. Yeah. 
That one off the backboard. The Orioles keep it alive off a speaker, and Barnett gets it in play. Back set, Drummy off the top of the net. Another kill and a five-point lead. Timeout, St. Louis Park. Coach Hanlon's seen enough. She wants to talk to her girls. She knows that uh, this is do or die for her squad here, because they can obviously they lose this set. They go home without the win. The long, quiet bus ride. Yep. From the outer ring suburbs to the inner ring. Ooh, we used to write a song. <laughs> Get your raffle tickets out, Joe Yend. The winning ticket is 058337. Oh. Oh. Bingo. Yes. Bingo. No. Dang it. I was just eight numbers off. I was just eight numbers off. Peplo serving with the five-point lead for Coon Rapids here in the fourth, and uh, the Orioles wisely let it go. Well, out of their last time out, they were able to score the next four points right. and, and pull right back into a top. Well, they got, they've got one. Set for Drummy, Schroeder there to pick it up. Alexander waits on it, punches it over, Favacet. Peplo and Rob tips it over the defense. Shevchuk blocked, but out of bounds. Yep. That gives Coon Rapids the five point lead back, 16 11. Chloe Hoffman back in for the Cardinals. McMahon has proven quite dangerous in the middle. Yes, she has. Gets that side out right back for the Orioles. Chenvert checks in and heads to the service line. Rob sends it long. That'll make it 16-13 now. Obviously, the Orioles looking to go, looking at going a run of their own. They know how important that is. Chenberth gets the ace. Is that one got in on Green a little bit? And now into the net. Samoy put the power on that one. There's some hot sauce on that. <laughs> oh, he's on a hot sauce kick, apparently. I do. I, I, do. I do like the hot sauce reference. Barda. <laughs> I thought that same thing. <laughs> you can't so live in Minnesota and see the name Barnett uh, and not think that. It's so great. I've resisted until now to actually use it. Ooh, it Cardinals almost started to celebrate yep. a little too early, but another kill for Ada Drummy. Official explaining the point to one of the uh, Oriole players. Nesseth checks in, takes over at the service line, up by three as we get late into this fourth set. 
Cardinals trying to close it out, up two sets to one. Hoffman high pass across, Orioles set it up. Nagorski can't shut it down. Tipped over by Foster. Samoy will just push it across. Hoffman on the attack. And I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what was called. The, the uh, cheering section from St. Louis Park does not agree with the call. Attack and a kill for Samoy will get them that point right back. Johnson served, picked up by Green. Quick set for Hoffman. She punches it back a second time, a third time. In tight to the net, and that one just out of the reach of Chloe Hoffman, dancing her best along that sideline, but can't catch up to it. And St. Louis Park knows that uh, this is their time right here. They're going to keep this, this uh, match alive. They should have just alive. started this match at like 19-19. Hoffman winning a battle at the net. Cardinal was holding on to a, a four-point lead, but no lead has been safe in this uh, this contest. Especially at this point in the set. Yep. Shevchuk, a big kill. Cardinals back in front by four. Nagorski gets a kill in the middle and gives the Orioles a chance to regain some momentum late. I'd almost be surprised if it wasn't tied at 24. What? No, it wouldn't <laughs> surprise me at all. No, I'm saying I, I might be surprised if it doesn't. Oh, if it doesn't, at 24. Yeah. Carry by the Cardinals. Samoy at the service line. Green's pass right into the net. Here we go. St. Louis Park back within one. It's been a roller coaster. Shevchuk. Didn't get a lot on that attack. Alexander. Wow. Not able to get quite enough as the Cardinals. No, no it was four touches. It was four oh, touches. It was a carry. It was a carry. Yeah, I thought it was three touches, but. Coach. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, her hand was pretty high up to be considered a carry. I thought so, too. But we're tied at 21. What are the what are the odds? What a surprise. What are the odds? Tied at 21. <laughs> Strong play on the right side from Foster gets the Cardinals the lead and the point and the serve back. 22-21. Barnett gets there. Cardinals scrambling a bit, pushed over by Nesseth. Nagorski got it through the block. Cardinals keep it up, pushed over by Peplo. Another quick set for Nagorski. Diving save by Green, but that's into the stands. We're tied at 22. 
that gets to this point in the contest, neither, neither team really can run away with anything. And certainly St. Louis Park fighting for their lives here to keep this match going. Huge kill in the middle Big. for Jersey Rob. Big. One of her better attacks all night. And I like that setup with Shevchuk behind yep. her. It makes it tougher to defend because if she lets it go, Shevchuk can attack. Into the net and we're tied at 23. Oh, wow. Rob tips it over. Orioles able to keep it up. Alexander gets it through the block to the floor. And off at St. Louis Park. Well, <laughs> half set point. Timeout, Coon Rapids. Yeah, yeah and it's, I, I think maybe a little disappointing for the Cardinals because they felt they were in a position to, to maybe kind of control it. And, uh, but St. Louis Park had a lot to say about it. And now, as, as you talked about, they're one point away from sending it to a fifth and deciding set. And again, you, in, in fifth set, you might as well have started out tied 10-10 and played a five win by two. So that's pretty much how these teams have been operating. They certainly have. Each team has had a chance to play with the lead a little bit, but never too large a lead. And when they've come down to crunch time, it's back and forth and ties and Schroeder at the service line for St. Louis Park. Back set, Shevchuk tips it over, kept up by McMahon, pushed over by the Orioles. Peplo sets it up for Rob. That's saved near the back line by Johnson. Alexander attacking for St. Louis Park, gets the kill. The Orioles get the win, and we are going to a fifth and final. This is crazy. This match be crazy. 29-27, 28-26, 25-23, 25 Crazy. And we go to the fifth to find out who will walk away a winner. Orioles and the Cardinals back in the court after this. a player will jump an average of 300 times per game of volleyball? Wow. And I think jumping up to go to the fridge is hard. The fastest volleyball serve was over 83 miles per hour. Yikes. If that serve were coming at me, they could have the point. I like my hands. They're dainty. Huh? As you know, CTN's on YouTube, and we're on in a big way. We have thousands of videos online to help you stay connected to Coon Rapids on any device, at home, or on the go. And it's because of your faithful viewership that we can celebrate 10,000 subscribers to the CTN YouTube page. Thank you for your support as we continue to keep you connected. Four. Well, I hope you want more, because we have it. We are not done. Four incredibly tight set scores. We have never seen a team with a lead more than six. Well, We've seen about 50 ties. All right, maybe not 50. <laughs> but. But you, no, you, no one can say this has not been entertaining, because it certainly has. Well, we've seen a number of long volleys as well. Shevchuk fires it down the line and start the Cardinals with the 1-0 lead. Of course, in the fifth, we only played a 15, so right. those early leads and early runs become that much more crucial. 
McMahon. Attacking Cardinals touch the net. Rob had to adjust to that one a little bit behind her maybe and into the net. It looks like each team has two timeouts left so they'll use those uh, at, at their most important moments if they can. They have two timeouts in each set. Yep. They have two timeouts. Well, I'm going to say they have two timeouts. <laughs> the attack is long. Cardinals touched it though. Got a piece of the attack by Samoy, and it's three to one. That one is long. Yeah, and like and like I say, you know, it's not only is it two very evenly matched teams, but Coon Rapids, McMahon, a quick kill in the middle. Coon Rapids looks, to me, better than they did just a week ago against Spring oh, Lake Park. Night and day. Just in, just in how they've they've operated as a team, yep. their passes have I been agree. cleaner, far fewer service and and other uh, un, unforced errors. You know, mi you know, fewer miss hits. So in that respect, it has also been very entertaining this evening. When you talked about the long volleys have been really entertaining as well. Battling close to the net, won by the Orioles, and there is Coon Rapids taking its first time out. Yeah, and, and, and a good one at this point. You know, it's still early in this uh, fifth set, but St. Louis Park with a three-point lead. Well, and both teams should have the confidence at this point. Oh, absolutely. They're they're right in this one, and three, four points is is definitely not an insurmountable lead. Pass comes back across, tipped right back to the Cardinals' side. The attack by Drummy, set up for Samoy. Hoffman passes it over. Quick set, Nagorski gets the kill. Yeah, solid point there by St. Louis Park. Now they've got that four-point lead. into the net. Yeah, and you can see the disappointment on her face. She was uh, disappointed in herself that she put that one into the net. Not the set that Peplo needed. Nope. And a timeout again. As Coach Crooks burning her timeouts both early. But, uh, you know, this is the largest lead of the night for St. Louis Park. Right. Coon Rapids' largest lead of the night, I think, still sits at four. Right. I think you're right. In any of the four and a half sets we've played.
Now they're just making sure that they're uh, all on the same page and not to, not to not to panic. They've uh, they've been able to stay tight with the Orioles all match long and winning winning a couple and splitting those first four sets. Hoffman attacking. Barnett is there. Back set goes to Nagorski. Blocked. Orioles able to pick it up. Play it back across. Hoffman a little too eager and put it into the net. Yeah, you know, we'll see if the Orioles can start feeling it right here. We still have six points to go, but they have a solid seven-point cushion, and the Cardinals are out of timeouts. That one too long. Put the ball back into the Cardinals' hands. Well, Nesseth will check in and head to the service line. Well, they needed it. Nagorski tips it over the defense. Yeah, that was beautiful. Said so you don't always have to put the power on it. Sometimes you can just put the uh, just a little little soft touch and find that spot on the floor. Johnson serving. Cardinals able to improvise to put it on the other side. Hoffman attacks wide. Cardinals scramble, but get it across. Set for Samoy, she gets the kill. And the Orioles are, Orioles are three point away from a five set win if they can continue. After losing the third and, and having to come from behind yep. in the fourth to force this fifth, now they have had the most convincing control of any set to this point. Nagorski, another kill in the middle, and it's a 10 point lead. Peplo pushes it over. Set for Nagorski. Niseth was ready for it. Punched over by Hoffman. Set for Samoy. Got there a little late, but found the hole in the defense, and they will have match point for a while. Yeah, I'll tell you, they've they've controlled this fifth set, and uh, they've come out here and built this huge lead. Disappointing for all the Cardinal faithful in, in the building. And those not in the building. And those not in the building, correct. That's why we're here, remember? Oh, really? I thought we were just here because we love it. The shot by Nesseth is long, and the Orioles have come from behind. And a convincing 15-3 to win in set number five. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, of their, all their losses, maybe the, one of the most disappointing ones uh, in this season because they felt that they had that opportunity, especially in the fourth set. They had that opportunity to close it out a little bit earlier, but then... Uh, well, and you know. they had, what, four four set points in, in the first set as well. Right, exactly. And not able to close it out. Yep. So, you know, but uh, again, I, I thought they played much better than the, the times that we've seen them so far this season. I even, agree. Even so compared to just last week at, at uh, Spring, Spring Lake, Lake Park. Park. Yep. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, coming up on the on the losing end in five after winning the second and third sets and and having a lead late in set number four, Cardinals just unable to finish it down the stretch. Yeah, tough loss for him. I mean, that says it all right there. Tough loss for him. Fan, fans cons consoling each other. They thought this was an opportunity for this volleyball squad to get a win, and it certainly looked that way, but unfortunately, uh, St. Louis Park was too much in that fifth set, and they will close it out to move to 13 and 10. 
on the season. That drops the Cardinals to four and 13. Five and 14. Five and 13, right. Five and 14. 14? Yep. Okay. Five and 14. There is a look at the homecoming fun just around the corner. Thursday night football. Love it. As the Andover Huskies come to the complex, Cardinals off a week off, trying to get back on the winning track. We'll see the volleyball team back here next Tuesday when they host the Armstrong Falcons. And then, and then, then there's, there's bowling. Bowling w on yeah. Thursday They're, the 13th. They, they are providing their announcers, so they can't pin anything on us. Pin anything on us. Ah. Well, it's a good thing they have a couple of guys to spare. Oh, that's pretty good. They must have found them in the alley. Yeah, <laughs> they weren't on strike. They weren't on strike? Oh, very nice. Beef turkey. I wax poetic. Ah, okay. But there that's we go. going to do it for this edition <laughs> of CTN Sports. Again, the final is the Orioles in five sets over the Cardinals. Want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Ali Shapiro, I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.